All right, guys, Cuddle Boy 32 here checking out. We're sitting out here at the Mifflin County Sportsman's Association, and you caught me actually doing some work. So what we're trying to do is chrono and check accuracy for about three or four, five, 20. Well, I got 10 loads we're going to work up right here, uh, as well as I've got some other loads right here that I just threw in here to, to test. But right now, this is going to be for a separate video. We're going to test these guys right here. Now, the purpose of this whole thing is I've got my three gun rifle right here and a DMR uh, competition rifle here. What I'm trying to do is I want to check for one accuracy as well as velocity. Ultimately, at the end of the day, uh, where those two cross reference each other is going to be a perfect point for where it works on this guy right here. This is the primary arms platinum with the ACSS radical. So the biggest thing for me right now is to one, let's get this guy on zero real quick and let's try out. Now this is a uh, 69 grain Sierras. These are a little load that I put together. Uh, that load does not belong to me so I can't to I can't share it with you. Uh, I don't know how they would feel about that. But <laughs> let's see how it shoots. All right, so what we're gonna do, I don't even know if this thing is zeroed in. I don't even, I don't know if it is or not. So let's go center target. Uh, those are one inch circles up there, it's 100 yards. Let's see where this guy lands. Okay, we're just a tad off. Let's see where this next one lands. All right, so I've got a camera on my, uh, what do you call that thing, the, the chronograph, so that we can keep track of these things. Now, it's interesting, a lot of times what I'll do is I use these videos to keep track of all my data. Instead of writing it down, I'll issue, publish it or I'll keep it private and I go back and watch it. I've actually sat in the parking lot of a Walmart trying to figure out what a load would be for a specific item or what my zero is or whatever. Here we go. 2633. Okay. So what's interesting is uh, you guys have seen X-Ring when we were testing out the uh, a different load. Actually, what was it? The Tula Ammo. We put six rounds in there, put one in the dirt, and then the five rounds count. Don't ask me why. Ask him. So what we're going to do, I've got one, three, four, five, six. Now let's take the DMR rifle, let this thing sit, and see how it does. Same bullet, 20 inch barrel versus a 16. Let's see what the differences are in the uh, speed. Top center target, here we go. This thing's throwing a, right out the front. Oh, wow, pulled that one. Okay. Oh, that's 2841. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw what that was. Interesting comparison between the two of these guys and the accuracy involved. If you get rid of the flyer, they're not bad. They're not too far off. Let's go ahead and pop these other two rounds in here. Yeah, we'd have to do a little adjustment on that gas block right there. It is launching these guys straight out the front. Okay, what I can do is go back and look at the feet per second 
and the zero, and then I can find out where I'm at. Now, let's go ahead and try these, and I don't mind sharing this with you. This is a 77 grain Sierra with 24.4 grains of bar get. I'm gonna dump the first one in the dirt. Here we go. Okay, let's let this guy cool down. I'll tell you what, I can't wait. I hope those numbers are coming up clear on the velocity. Uh, that's not a bad group right there. I just don't know. Yeah, this is uh, for your FYI. This is running a Proof Resources 20 inch barrel, one and eight twist with the Ultra Dine muzzle brake, uh, Trigger Tech Diamond, JP, pretty much front to back with a hand guard the uh, ARCA rail, silent capture spring, and the low mass operating system bolt with a Radiant Raptor and a Luth AR. Whew, that was a mouthful. So let's see how those 77 grain work out in the old uh, three gun rifle there. And what we'll do, we'll put one in the dirt, five on the one inch circle. The, the goal here is, especially on this rifle, not only do, am I looking for accuracy, but I'm looking for uh, the perfect bullet drop compensation with this particular one. Now, here's the problem. I'm going to be replacing this handguard uh, this weekend, so I might have to redo this whole test again because of the harmonic difference in the barrel. Let's do this top right. Wow, that's slow. I forgot to dump it in the dirt. Uh. Well, that's amazing. Same round, different barrel. Now this, this particular rifle this is running a proof research. This is their full stainless steel barrel Ultradyne, because that's the way I roll. Uh, we're running a Rubber City Arm Armory uh, bolt carrier group. This is a Rainier Arms upper and lower match receiver set with the double star. Uh, what do you call this thing? This is uh, their skeletonized uh, thing that you can bob. And this has the uh, a low mass operating system from uh, JP in it with an AR gold trigger. <laughs> huh, that was interesting to say the least. Now, those were the Sierras. Let's run some of the uh, 75 grain Hornady. Boat tail hollow points through the DMR rifle, see what kind of uh, muzzle velocity we're getting out of this guy, as well as, let's see what kind of accuracy we can get. We're going to go left center, here we go. I pulled that one. Those are the muscle velocities that I'm looking for to the 2750. For that bullet weight, it works perfect. Now, let's see how that works out with this guy right here. All right, we're going to go right center target. 
right column middle. There we go. Damn. 26 out of 6. Tell you what, the way this thing's stacking, I'm probably thinking this the barrel probably needs to be cleaned. So, yeah. All right. So that's it. That's the basis of our test. Uh, it should work out pretty good. I'm thinking that it's a toss-up. We're going to be having to look between the 75 grain and the 77 Sierra where the ballistic coefficient, the muzzle velocity, and the grouping, where all those things mingle is going to tell me which round I want to use. This guy right here, she doesn't have any problems hitting targets. I will tell you that right now. So, guys, uh, we're going to continue testing, and then uh, moving down the road, we've actually got uh, as, as many manufacturers of ammo that I could possibly buy. It actually happened before all the shortages came in, uh, so I kind of feel guilty about shooting that stuff, but we got to test it out. But anyway, what I want to do is find out which manufacturer works best in this guy and which manufacturer works best in this guy. But anyway, we're going to go ahead. This is part one. We're going to do a part two following up uh, where I'm going to show you the ladder test with a 77 grain uh, Sierra Match Kings using uh, Varget. Varget. Anyway, let's go to 132. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. I'm talking about those guys and girls out there who fight for our freedom 24-7 as it was written in, our, in the Constitution. A lot of shit going on these days. Y'all pay attention. Let's go to 132. I'm out.